roll with me on a thing. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll do the whole thing, but a time's gonna come and just roll with me. Beep, beep. Richie? And, uh, Richie. Welcome. Blah, 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 blah. To Stupid Movies, where we watch them. And you know what? This movie's like short. Five minutes long. So you watch them too. We're going the short route again. Yeah. We're hopping on that short bus woo, woo. today. What did we watch this oh, week? Oh, yeah. We're, we're doing our show, Rob. <laughs> we, well, yeah. Hello. Hi. We checked out a short called The Hug. What? The Hug. Huh? The Hug. Shit. You didn't tell me that's what we were watching. I did it? I watched The Chipmunk Adventure. Oh, no. Shit. 2018, not rated five minutes long. Whoa. Currently on Hulu, mm -hmm. and I believe YouTube. Yep, that's where I watched it. it. Yeah, so. this contained two directors. What? Jack Bishop and Justin DeJim. And uh, this starred Nick Armstrong as the employee. Uh-huh. Roman George. Dean George. And then starred Pandori, who was the animatronic. Yeah. We went to Pandori's Pan Pizza Parlor. Uh -huh. And we got a pan pizza. Yep. And we ate it. Yeah, so this is a similar to like Willy's Wonderland, just a short type version. Kind of. Well, uh, yeah. animatronics. Yeah, you know, yeah, harken back to the days of showbiz and Chuck E. Pizza or Chuck E. Cheese Pizza, you know, which we, we love. And uh, what happened in this short? Little boy's an asshole. It's his birthday. They are at a showbiz pizza slash Chuck E. Cheese knockoff type restaurant. And he wants to see the one animatronic do his dance thing. But the employee who works there is like, no, he's on his lunch break. And the little boy like sneaks past him, turns it on anyway. Pandori comes out and starts dancing. And he's like, I want a hug. And so the kid gives him a hug and then he eats the kid. Yeah, we like animatronic stuff. So what do we like about the hug? And we like hugs. We like hugs. We like hugs. Right off the bat, the animatronic in this looks fucking amazing. It's jerky it's still when it needs to be still it has that jerky fluid motion mm -hmm. if that makes sense because an animatronic can move very smoothly in one plane and then it's got a little bit of a jerk when it stops and this animatronic nailed it i don't i really to the point that i don't know if they used an actual animatronic or if it was a dude in a suit and it looked awesome it was creepy uh, you know, showbiz back in the day, that damn thing, the main one, the bear thing or whatever. Billy Bob Broccoli. Yes. Was it him or was it Fats that scared you? The giant gorilla all on the center them. stage. All of them. But they were creepy as a kid, and this nailed that kind of fear. Like, you know, not because you always have that fear of, okay, is this thing alive or what's it going to do? It's the uncanny valley where it's too close to being real. Yeah. But you can still tell it isn't. And I love it short, sweet, and right to the point. And I love Pandora's Pizza Place. It I looks fun. That. Yeah. It looks fun. I really like the kid. Yeah. Uh, he's an asshole and he deserves what's coming to him. But the actor nailed it. I like the employee, too. <laughs> yeah. Thought, oh, hell yeah. I thought, he, you know, he was, he was like an actual employee and how they would act and react. Like when he finds out kind of what happened he's like oh no oh no no yeah i thought it was very well done yeah you know the, the acting and the portrayal and everything and the damn thing was creepy when it you know when you realize they build it up it's like he's going up and it's like oh, well, he wants a hug and you're like okay and then it doesn't like go and you're like oh crap something's gonna happen here it goes and i thought it looked great when it when it mutated or changed whatever you want to call it yeah when it's fake face fell off yeah. you saw its real face underneath Oh, that thing is creepy, and that that could give people nightmares. Yeah. I mean, it, they did a great job, and the score that they use really enhances that. Yeah, uh, that feeling. Feeling, yeah, it's just like, oh boy. And I know you kind of said that you dug the pizza place. I like the song for the pizza place. Yes. Pan Pizza Palace. My Pan Pizza's number one. Is very effective in that. Absolutely. I would like to see this extended out into a full length. Movie. Absolutely. That would be cool. Even if it was just this one animatronic. I mean, I would yeah. love to see a whole cast built around it. Um, you know, like you had at a showbiz pizza with Rock of Fire Explosion, or like you had with Chuck E. Cheese's Make Believe Band. Right. Uh, I would love to see that full cast. But even if it was a movie with just this one, I would be down for it. Absolutely. Yeah. One thing I really like is, and I'm still not quite sure if they used an actual Billy Bob Broccoli mask, 
or if they made one that just looked really, really similar to it, but a little off. But it felt so much like the Billy Bob character from, from Showbiz. The ears, the face structure, the body structure, everything just was a fucking spot on match. Pandoris, Pan Pizza Palace. And as someone who gets into, you know, the tech behind the animatronic and how all of it works and everything, that to me was, it was respect to it. Anything you didn't like? <sighs> no, my, nice. my only complaint is I wish this was a feature length movie. I want to see It more. was as good as this. Yep. I want a feature length movie taking place at yep. Pandori's Pan Pizza Palace. It would be awesome. Also, that name is a bitch to say. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. <laughs> Have you seen The Hug? Let us know in the comments below. Tell us what you thought of the hug. Do you want to see a feature full length movie of Pandori, Pizza Pan, Pizza Pizza Ria, Pizza Poppers? Whatever it is. Pandoris. Pandoris. Pan. Pan. Pizza. Pizza. Palace. Palace. No oh, that's poppers. easy. Oh, no poppers. No, no poppers. Okay. Penis poppers. Would you like to rate this before we do all of that stuff? That would probably be a wise <laughs> decision. I liked it. Obviously, I thought this was a great short from start to finish. It's short, sweet to the point. It's creepy. Great atmosphere. Great lighting. Great everything so we are eight out of four for sure yep. and obviously for sure this is going to be a four yeah for sure looking at it from a technical aspect the animatronic was everything i could have wanted looking at it from an artistic point of view it really feels like aaron fector's work it was amazing it could have used some blood worked fine without it glad there wasn't any nudity because it was all kids <laughs> uh so it worked fine without that uh we rate out of four i'm gonna give it a five out of four what? Yeah! If you've watched this, tell us what you think about it. Otherwise, you can check us out over... <laughs> I'm going to do it again. <laughs> you can check us out over at Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Uh, Instagram at Stupid Movies. At Dr. Sketch Turner. At The Horror Punk. You can email us stupidmovies at Outlook.com. I got no penis jokes this week. Send us pizzas. Pizzas! Not, not emails of pizzas. Send us pizzas. I'm fucking hungry. Yeah. Uh, Chippendale. No. Chippendale's Avengers. Those are strippers. Re no, the Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, those are fine. Those are not strippers. <laughs>